Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. There's my sexy husband. I was on the treadmill and I thought, man, it's loud over here. So if I'm gonna do a live, I have to get off. Uh, but we are in Arizona and we are here for an event. Yes, we were in California last week. And so we are just getting up, we're working out, we are owning our morning. And so that's kind of what I labeled this is, I'm sweating, um, own your morning, own your day. So my question to you is, are you owning your morning? Are you getting up and being mindful? Are you legitimately like owning your time or are you reactive towards life? Meaning, what does that mean? Uh, if you schedule your day, right? If you get up that extra little bit early to read or to journal, how many of you journal? I will admit, I have a journal. I talk about journaling. My, like, like, I have not been consistent with it. It's not a muscle that I've built. I need to get better at journaling. Why? Because I think it's super important. You get to write down ideas that you could come back to later. You can see years later where you came from and to where you are, you know, in a year from now. I think oftentimes we forget. Like I tell people, and this is what I have a I have a notebook. I, I feel like there's a difference between my notebook, like our vision board that I have, and then there's a journal, right? I do better at keeping track of our notebook. And in our notebook, we write things that we're thankful for, uh, things that we remember. I usually go back, so I already did January, and then in February, I'll write things that we were blessed with or the things that we saw that God did in our lives or the places that we went with our kids so that we can remember it. So that when maybe you come to a harder season in life or maybe you're walking through something, you can go and look back at all of the things that you were blessed with or you're thankful for or go, oh, <laughs> it's not just me, right? Like, it's always good to, to remember, always, always. And so, <clears throat> do you journal? I asked yesterday, what are you reading to get your mind right? So I asked below, there's a little picture of an emoji holding a book, and I said, what are you reading? And I was shocked at how very few people commented, maybe because they didn't see it, but aren't, like, I don't think that people are truly reading. I don't think that people are, um, like getting their mind right. I think that we're in such a reactive mode, meaning we react to things in our life. We react to uh, time frames. We react to our kids. It's not responding. There's a difference. We respond when we collect the facts. We respond when, you know, something happens and we don't react. Uh, oftentimes people get up late. They hit the snooze button. I mean, that was me forever, right? Uh, I still am a snooze button hitter, but I said I'm a little bit earlier so I can get up and get my morning how I want it to be. What I mean by that is this, there's reacting and responding. Do you react to your kids? Do you immediately go after and um, lash out? Do you react to your boss? Do you react to your friends? Do you react to the fact that I just don't have enough time, right? Or do you step back a little bit, figure out what you need and respond? I'm, I'm legitimately shocked that how many people just don't read. And you don't have to read. There are so many things that you could do to get your mind right in the morning. I think sometimes we think we've gotta go sit down for an hour and have this crazy focused time. Like, uh, go YouTube an inspirational video. Go listen to an audible book. If you're a lady on here, that means you've gotten up in the morning, you either showered or you, you are putting on some makeup, you're getting ready, like pop in an earbud while you're making breakfast for your kids. Uh, my kids don't know if I'm listening to things. Sometimes they'll ask me something. I'm like, yep, yep. And I'm like trying to focus because it's such a good book. If I was you, I would highly invest in Audible. It's a phenomenal way to listen to books. Um, and I listen to books over and over and over again. So I'm going to post the list of books below today that we've listened to in the past, the ones that I continue to listen to, uh, some of the podcasts that we listen to. I listen to a lot of amazing pastors. And so it just depends on really what you want to listen to, but I just think it's really important to feed your mind. Because if you're not, guess who's doing it? The world, the news. Are you a news watcher? Are you a Facebook stalker? Like there's a difference between just scrolling mindlessly through Facebook and being intentional. It really just boils down to being intentional with your whole life. Like get up, spend some time on yourself, read something that's not the news. Like read something that's gonna inspire you. Find somebody to follow. Uh, find a really good book that maybe you really need right now. Maybe it's about parenting or maybe it's about entrepreneurship. Maybe it's about saving money. Like maybe it's about getting healthy. There's something out there that you're going after and there's probably a mentor or a book or a podcast that you could listen to to help you get further faster. That's all I'm saying. So 
Look at my husband, he's running. Woo! So I just wanna say, on your morning, on your day, when I get up in the morning, and I know that I took time for myself, I'm taking care of my body, which ultimately means I'm gonna feel better as a mom, I'm gonna be a better mom, I'm gonna be a better entrepreneur, I mean, so many things, right? Like, it took me two years, two years, before I pulled the trigger and got up and started working out. I remember a year went by and I was like, oh, that was a, I didn't do it. And then I kept telling myself, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna get up early in the mornings. And I was that like, sleep till my kids wake up, sleep till I had to get up, roll out of bed, like, it's not worth it. Oh my goodness, you will feel so much better if you just own your day. So anyways, I wanted to pop on here. And a couple, two other things. We've got, we've got the grocery store winner, so, there were 2,000 people that guessed to win a five-day experience. There's two winners. I forgot to bring the receipt. I know the exact, I know almost to the penny the exact amount. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, uh, I'm, I drew, or I didn't draw, I went through all 2,000 comments and there was two people, if I missed you, let me know, that guessed the right amount. The amount for the grocery store, if you look back a couple posts before, we went to Costco and I said, guess the amount, you win a five-day experience. The amount, the cheapest I've ever spent at Costco was $208. That was the winner. So there was two winners. There was a Marianne Robbins, Melissa Richards, and Marianne Robbins. So I will reach out to you. Congratulations. You won some mom fuel. That's what I'm drinking right now. And I just wanted to come on here and encourage you. I hope you have a great day. Go be an inspiration to somebody. Go smile. Go hold the door for them. Just tell somebody an encouraging word. I always tell people, if somebody pops into your mind, like that is a very, very, very perfect sign for you to give them a call, send them a text, send them a message, and go, hey, I was thinking of you. How's your day? Or, hey, I haven't talked with you for a while. Like people need to be encouraged, right? We often think that people are too busy for each other, but they're not. I'm legitimately shocked in how many people are lonely because we're so busy with life that people don't make time for friends. They don't make time to call their family. Um, when in reality, when you look at most people, they're hunkered down at home because they're so busy with activities and their business and their jobs. They don't make time to really create relationships. So. If somebody pops into your mind today, I'm gonna to challenge you to message them, call them, send them an encouraging word because they most likely need to hear from you for a specific reason. So I appreciate you all. Be intentional with your morning. Own your morning, own your day. I'm gonna go finish lifting some weights and uh, we will talk to you later. Have a great day.